Hey yo, hello everybody, it's me Nick the Brick and today I'm back with a Marvel video actually and if you still don't know, I'll actually be trying to make more content for Marvel and Star Wars so from now on there will be probably one video a week that won't be related to Ninjago which I think is pretty good decision to also get some other non-Ninjago fans on the channel but still with keeping the Ninjago domain team obviously but yeah yesterday three of the spider-man no way home sets were revealed but actually only one of them is from the new movie i really don't understand why they didn't brand the other two under the infinity saga branding but i just don't really know what happened there but you know we see doctor strange in the set which will which is actually based on the movie so maybe some time travel could be possible who knows but yeah i find that a little odd either way in those sets nine mini figures appear and eight of them are new because that nick fury is the same one we got with the far from home sets so now that we got all of this stuff out of the way let's get straight into it so at number 8 we got the MJ minifigure and personally I'm not really too sold on this one. This might be an unpopular opinion but I actually think the one from ha Far From Home was actually a bit better because this one has just a giant hairpiece which I don't really think it fits the character at all. I don't know I'm just not a fan of that hairpiece in general so I just don't like when they are using it with the figures but you know that might be just me. Also no lag printing so yeah. So yeah still a pretty cool figure but could have easily been better at number seven we got vulture there's just something with this figure that kind of takes me off i don't know actually something that i have to point out is the helmet which i think is actually really really cool i think it definitely does work better than the principal iron man one which was actually used for vulture in 2017 but yeah the actual color scheme of this figure isn't even that good no leg printing and you know i don't i just don't really think it does look that good to be fair even his wings could have been built a bit better at number 6 we got Wong and personally I just don't really see what's going on with this figure, he just looks very different. He's rocking that yellow jacket which doesn't really fit the character, I mean there are just so many confusing things about this figure, it even looks a bit younger so maybe it's the best version of Wong but again we just don't really know anything about plot of the movie at this point so I can't say anything. It would totally make sense. Overall I think all of the prints for this figure are actually very sweet, personally I just don't imagine Wong to look like that. Number 5 we got Mysterio and I'm just pleasantly surprised by this one. I just really didn't imagine that they will actually upgrade the Far From Home Mysterio which looked very good in the first place so I'm just really satisfied they did that as well. Might not feel necessary but hey I'm just glad that Lego is putting a lot of effort in Marvel so that is pretty epic. I also really love that it is using the blue fishbowl piece which definitely does look a bit more accurate. Same goes for the golden torso that's also something that i noticed far from home mysterio figure didn't have that but in the movie i think it's pretty clear that his torso is very well gold number four we got doctor strange and you might think this is a bit low placing for this minifigure but don't get me wrong i really love the new cape i mean it just looks absolutely stunning it was just a huge surprise for me i, I just really didn't expect this to happen at all you know that cape just doesn't really feel like lego it just looks like is a custom piece which is very very cool but the thing is that i'm not really the biggest fan of the printing on this figure i think the overall printing does look pretty good but i think it kind of looks a bit simple to be fair i don't know it just does look a bit cartoonish in a way maybe even i don't know i just think the infinity war doctor strange definitely had some better printing but i really love the cave with this one which is just absolutely mind-blowing at number 3 we got Spidey's black and red suit from Far From Home obviously and I'm just really really thankful we actually got that in the minifigure form. I just remember how many of us were pretty upset when this outfit didn't appear in any of the Far From Home sets so they also fixed that so I'm really glad we actually got this minifigure now. And it does look very stunning, maybe the smallest complaint I have with this one is that it doesn't have arm printing. I mean you could say that I'm a bit picky which I definitely am but the homecoming suit actually had arm printing and this one does not and it's pretty much just a recolor of that one. I mean I know they did new printing for legs and stuff but I just think the arm printing would make this figure even better though again I don't really have anything more to complain because it is still a very very awesome minifigure. 
number two we got brand new suit for spidey from no way home and i think it does look very very stunning also i think people aren't too happy with this suit the actual minifigure which is actually very well made but the actual suit that this minifigure is based on because you know actually i checked it myself and it pretty much is just a recolor of the iron spider suit from mcu but here actually lego made some very different printing from that iron spider which i actually really like so yeah i actually personally i just think both versions of this suit are great the minifigure and the actual suit but yeah that's obviously just some controversy going through the community right now number one we actually have the gold and black spider-man suit and the funniest thing about this one is that it isn't canon to pretty much anything in mcu we just don't see that outfit at all but do you mind i mean it does look mind-blowingly amazing i think the color scheme is just very very awesome i actually think black and gold is one of the best color schemes for lego minifigures so this one is definitely no exception it also has a sweet arm printing which may not even look like that iconic for spidey which is cool so it can actually be used on some other figures as well so yeah i'll be definitely upgrading some figures with this when i actually get my hands on this figure so this is gonna be it for this video be sure to let me know your thoughts on those minifigures and tell me which one is your favorite if you enjoyed this video i would highly appreciate a like don't forget to click that subscribe button you hand ready have a great day bye